Imagine an elasma branch fish that has skin made of razor sharp teeth and weird parasitic friends that have suckers on the top of their heads that will suck themselves onto your skin. You may have guessed that this one's going to be very strange, so strap in tight. When talking about an elasma branch fish, I'm actually talking about a shark, and yes, its skin is made up of millions of incredibly tiny, yet very sharp tooth-like scales that provides it with an almost armor-like protection. These scales are known as dermal denticles and are composed mostly of dentine, a hard substance similar to the material found in our teeth. The mineral apatite is also present in the teeth and bones of sharks, and this adds to their incredible durability and resilience. Dermal denticles are arranged in a unique overlapping pattern, reducing drag and remarkably enhancing the shark's swimming efficiency. These super scales not only protect sharks from injury, but also help regulate their body temperature. The rough texture of shark skin created by dermal denticles deters parasites, making sure that the sharks remain healthy and free from infestations. Researchers are studying the structure of dermal denticles to develop innovative materials for applications such as armor, wetsuits, and even aircraft design, because not only is the design slippery in water, but also in the air. The Speedo LZR swimsuit was partly based on science gleaned from the study of shark skin, and it was deemed to provide an unfair advantage to the wearer by FINA, the international governing body for swim sports. This led to a ban on all swimsuits of a similar nature way back in 2010. So imagine rescuing a stranded shark and developing a rash or burn on your hands as a result of handling it. Welcome to the painful world of shark burn, which is an unexpected side effect of handling these amazing creatures. Apparently good karma doesn't always follow shark rescuers. Due to the highly abrasive nature of shark skin, it can cause irritation and discomfort to humans who handle them without proper protection. Shark burn occurs when the rough texture of shark skin scrapes against human skin, leading to abrasion, inflammation, and a potentially nasty rash. This rash can even be made worse by the chemicals in a shark skin, such as urea and squalene. And the rash certainly serves as a reminder of the unique properties of shark skin and the importance of respecting these creatures' natural habitat. By using gloves or specialized handling techniques, researchers and conservationists can avoid shark burn and ensure both human and shark safety during rescue operations. Believe it or not, some fish use sharks as their personal scratching posts. This surprising behavior may seem peculiar, but it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Cleaner fish, such as cleaner wrasses and remoras, establish cleaning stations on the bodies of sharks. By eating parasites and dead skin, the cleaner fish help keep the shark's skin healthy and free from harmful organisms. This symbiotic relationship allows both parties to thrive in their respective roles, emphasizing the intricate connections within the marine ecosystem. As if that wasn't mind-blowing enough, how about the bonus fact that sharks have dandruff? Sharks, much like humans, shed skin cells, resulting in a phenomenon known as shark dandruff, and these skin flakes have significant scientific value. Shark dandruff consists of tiny skin flakes and can be collected and analyzed to gain insights into the health, diet, and genetic information of these magnificent creatures. Scientists examine the chemical composition of these flakes to understand the presence of pollutants or toxins in the shark's environment. By studying the DNA found in shark dandruff, researchers can unravel genetic markers, aiding conservation efforts and understanding the species population dynamics. Analysis of shark dandruff provides valuable data on the dietary habits of different shark species, shedding light on their role within the marine food chain and it can help monitor the impact of climate change and human activities on shark populations. And if dermal denticles and dandruff aren't enough, the bull shark comes along and has an even better party trick. Bull sharks have a unique physiology that enables them to tolerate changes in salinity, allowing them to navigate both marine and freshwater ecosystems. This adaptability enables bull sharks to swim far inland, sometimes even entering rivers and lakes and making them truly aquatic chameleons. During a flood in Queensland, Australia, bull sharks were famously trapped in a pond at the Carbrook Golf Course, surprising both golfers and researchers alike. Let's shift our focus slightly sideways to the curious relationship between sharks and remora fish. Remora are small fish hitchhikers that attach themselves to sharks, including the magnificent whale sharks. These fishy parasites have a specialized suction cup on the top of their heads that allows them to firmly latch onto a shark's body and hitch a ride. This gains them almost unlimited access to a steady food source. And while remoras benefit from this arrangement, consuming leftovers from the shark's meals, they also clean the shark's skin by removing dead skin cells and external parasites. This symbiotic relationship between remoras and sharks 
demonstrates the intricate connections within marine ecosystems, where even seemingly parasitic interactions can be mutually beneficial. And there you have it, the captivating secrets of shark skin and the intriguing relationship sharks have with other organisms. Remember, sharks play a vital role in maintaining the balance of our oceans, and it is essential that we respect and fiercely protect these magnificent creatures. Join me next time as we uncover more weird and wonderful random facts. And if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more.